Alright folks, um, a short while ago I picked this um, monitor up from FreeCycle and I've just been given away um, and I needed one in here for testing really, testing components and uh, installing operating systems, that kind of thing and I just had to loan my test monitor out to somebody who desperately needed one so I was after another one, this one came up and they said it keeps switching on and switching off and I thought that sounds like just the power supply or the power board to me so I thought I'll go for it um, it's not the newest thing in the world um, it, it's a bit kind of tobacco stained to be honest but I give it a bit of a clean up and you know it's not too bad uh, and when I got it I realised it, it doesn't actually have a power board because it uses a power brick or a power supply um, power adapter whatever you want to call it 12 volt 2.7 amp power adapter when I switched it on and connected the computer up you could, it was switching on and off but also the green indicator light on here was switching on and off as well which kind of indicated that it was this that was the problem now I went through my box of spares and I didn't have anything that was rated 12 volts 2.7 amps but then I got to thinking computer power supplies have a 12 volt rail and this comes in on the yellow wires and I thought no, supposing I could use one of my many power supplies to power this because at the end of the day it's going to stay in here so it doesn't matter that it's a bit bulky and I managed to find a power adapter that I wasn't using which had the right connector on the end so I snipped it and attached a male Molex plug. Okay, doesn't matter what the colour of the wires are. Actually, on the on the male Molex plug, the point is, it will connect up to a 12 volt supply on the earth. And you know what? It works. This monitor works, and I can use it in here for testing computers out, which is absolutely great. Um, Obviously, you know, it, it needs most 2.7 amps. You know, you'll get that off a computer power supply if it's not doing anything else. Um, this only kicks out about 18 amps, but that's fine. Um, the voltage needs to match. Um, I did have some 9 volt adapters, but I knew that wasn't going to work because there wouldn't be enough voltage. But your current just needs to be the same as or higher. Um, if it's lower, it's going to struggle and you'll probably blow your power supply. So there we go, so a quick soldering job and I've now got a power cable to power this monitor off a 12 volt power supply. Thanks for watching.